what do we know about doctors and mental illness? What do we know that's different from the general population? What is it that we should be doing to support people more effectively? We must have services. They must be of high quality. <coughs> they must be run by senior people. That we must address the needs of doctors and do this um, across the UK. All right? And a lot more things came out of that, like doctors must be treated as patients. Okay? And they have equal should have equal access to healthcare as everybody else. And really, the argument about this, okay, and this goes to if you're going to set up services, if you want to take this on, you know, when we're talking about access to services and how we're going to do it, these are the arguments, okay? It's an economical sense that we have to keep our doctors healthy. You know, if we're going to be running the services, we need to be able to make sure they're able to. It's a toxic world out there, and we need to be able to provide support for them. And actually, it's about patient safety. And those are the arguments we've used, absolutely. And in terms of training, that's how HHP training came about, that we and the faculty and the Royal College of General Practitioners and the Royal College of Psychiatrists, together we jointly put together training programmes and competency frameworks for, for, our, for our areas. We are a team. We don't work in isolation. Yes, we have got areas that we are, we are expert in, but we do need to work with the local GPs, the local other practitioners, um, and, and psychiatrists to give the best support. It's not a battle between who looks after these people. It's really about joined up holistic care. And this is something that we've finally agreed